Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create a first person camera inside Unity. At the end of the video you would have created something like this. We can move the camera left and right. We are going to move the camera and the player together around the Y axis. We do this so it's easier to implement movement to the character. And you can move the camera up and down and the value is clamped at 19 degrees so it doesn't rotate over 19 degrees and cause trouble. Ok, let's begin. I have a simple scene setup which only has a ground plane, one player object, which basically is an empty game object that has a child called graphics, which is just a capsule, and I have four cubes that will help with the orientation in our scene. I will select the main camera and I will drop it on the player and make child of the player. I will reset its transform and I will move it up on the Y axis, so it's at the top of our player. Inside the assets folder I'll right click and I'll create a new C -sharp script and I'll rename the script to first person camera. Double click to open it in Visual Studio. Inside Visual Studio first of all I'll create few variables. The first variable will be a public transform and we're gonna name this player. This will give a reference to the player object we have in our scene. The second variable I will create will be public float and we call this mouse sensitivity sensitivity I will set a default value of 2 third variable will be a float and we're gonna call this camera vertical rotation I will default this to 0 so the camera will be facing straight forward when we begin the game we will use this variable to clamp the value between minus 19 and 19 degrees. Now we're gonna collect the mouse input. I'll create a new variable float input x which will be equal to input get axis. We're gonna collect the mouse x axis. We're gonna do the same for the y float input y will be equal to input dot get axis the name of the axis mouse y. We can multiply both values with the mouse sensitivity variable we have created. So multiply it with mouse sensitivity and multiply with mouse sensitivity. Now we have taken care of the input. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the camera around this local x-axis. After we have collected the input of the mouse, we want to rotate the camera around its local x-axis. Inside Unity we basically want to rotate the camera around this red arrow, or the vector right, x. So like this, up and down. Let's go back into Visual Studio. We have created a variable for this, the camera vertical rotation. I'm just gonna take that and I will type minus equal input y. I use minus and not plus because when you move the mouse arrow up, you get a positive value, but in order for the camera to rotate up, it needs to have a negative angle. That's why I use minus to invert the input. After that, we're just gonna clamp this value, or we're gonna type camera vertical rotation equals to mathf dot clamp. The value we want to clamp is the camera vertical rotation, and we want to clamp it minus 90 degrees and 90 degrees. After we have clamped the value, all we need to do is rotate the camera. We're gonna use transform because this script will be on the camera. And we're gonna type local other angles equals to vector 3.right. So this is that red arrow multiplied with the camera vertical rotation. Now, if I save the script and if I go back into Unity, I will select the main camera. I will drag and drop the script on the main camera. For the player transform, I will drag and drop the player. And if I go into play mode, you're gonna see that I can move the camera up and down. So it works. If I try to go above 19 degrees, you see that the value is clamped. Now exit play mode and let's go back into Visual Studio. Now after we have created the vertical rotation of the camera, we need to do the same for the horizontal rotation around the y-axis. If I go back into Unity and if I select the player, we want to rotate our player around its y-axis or that green arrow. 
and you're gonna notice that if I rotate the player, the camera rotates with the player because the main camera is a child of the player. To make this in Visual Studio, you remember in the variables we have created a variable for the transform of the player. There it is, name player. We're just gonna type player dot rotate and we're just gonna rotate around the up vector multiply with the input X of the mouse. If I save the script and go back into Unity and in go in play mode, we're gonna see that we can actually move left, right, up and down and look around our scene. The last thing we want to do is just hide the mouse cursor so it does not show and we also want to lock the cursor at the middle of our screen. Go back into Visual Studio and we're just gonna go above and create a new variable. The type of the variable will be bool. We're gonna call it locked cursor and we're gonna set that to true by default. Inside the start method, we just first gonna hide the cursor, so cursor.visible equals to false. And to lock the cursor, we're gonna type cursor.lock state equals to cursor lock mode dot locked. We're gonna save the script and we're gonna back into Unity. Now if I go into play mode, you're gonna see that the cursor is hidden and we can see it is hidden and locked at the center of the view. You see that yellow spotlight that's just from the software I use to make this tutorial so you can better see what I click. Okay, that's that. Just remember if I select the main camera, you, we have created a mouse sensitivity variable. You can adjust this number to make the mouse more sensitive or less sensitive. Just pick a number that suits for you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. And in the next video, we're just going to make a third person camera using Cinemachine. So we can see how that works. That's all for this video. Bye bye.